In this video, we're going to be continuing our modeling of our man. We're going to be adding some arms, a hand, and if we have some time, we'll do a neck and a head. So, first thing we do is add ourselves a cube. This will be the arm. Let's uh, zoom in here and just uh, scale that down so it's uh, appropriate size for an arm. Scale that by the Z. Switch to the side view. Scale that by the X. Just check the top view, see how we're doing. Make sure it's all nicely aligned. Alright, that's good. Go into the edit mode here. Select face. And we'll extrude that. That'll be our elbow. We'll extrude it again, and that'll be our forearm. Alright, zoom out a little bit. Oh, arm looks a little short, so let's scale it up a little bit. There we go. That looks good. We're going to add a modifier to it, the subdivision surface, round it out. Then we will go in here and flatten those edges out a little bit, crease those seams. I'm just going to hide this, get it out of the way. Press H key to hide and Alt H to uh, make whatever's hidden reappear. So we got that face and that face. We open up our tools panel and our property panel. Then we mark the seam and recrease the seam. And there we go. Uh, unhide the body there. There we go, it's a better shape. Now we're going to add an arm. Oh, sorry, I'm going to add a hand. So, Shift A, Mesh, Cube. Just scale that until it gets the appropriate size that I want. Scale one. Grab that. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is go into edit mode. We're going to do some loop cuts and slides here. So I want uh, two loop cuts there and one loop cut here. So click there and then I can use my mouse key to roll up. And that'll uh, give me room for a finger to grow there, a finger to go there, and a finger to grow there. Then we'll make space for a thumb too, which we can grow up here. Just realized that my hand is far too thick. So I'm just going to go to the side view and scale that down. Grab that, move it into position. Go back to the front view, hit the tab key to go into edit key, and then uh, start selecting some faces here. We'll start with this face, and I'll just bring that out a little bit to give a good angle for the fingers like that. Now we can extrude that. Uh, extrude that. So what I'm doing is I'm selecting the face, then I'm hitting extrude, and then I'm hitting one, which extrudes it by one blender unit. So extrude one. like that. Extrude one. There we go. Oops. I'll do the same for that. Front view. Extrude. I'll move it over a little bit. Give it a thumb. Here we go. Let's uh, add the modifier to that. Let's see how it looks. 
pretty good. I'm not too worried about being able to animate these fingers, bend them and grab things and pick things up as uh, I really just want a hand to have at the side of the person as he walks. So I'm just going to keep it pretty simple at this point. Something I'm going to do though with its arm is just kind of flare it out at the end. So select that and then I'm just going to scale it by the Z here. Yeah, that looks a little friendlier. So select that arm, grab it, select the hand, grab it, check on top, make sure everything's good. Oh, they're not really lined up too well there, are they? I think I had a bit more thickness to the hand. It's looking a little flat. So go into edit mode. Select a couple faces on the palm there. Go to the side view, grab those, pull them out a little bit. Do the same thing on the other side. Grab. So that's pretty good. That's, uh, no point in doing all that work again. We'll just select the hand, hit Shift D to duplicate it. Move it over here. Go to the top view. Rotate that. I'm going to hold down the Control key while I'm rotating it. Oops, I've never done that before. Not sure why I broke the two objects up like that. Not too worried about it. Does the same thing. Grab that. By the way. Grab that. Move it by the Y. Okay, so that's our two arms and hands rendered. Quickly make a neck here. Grab that. To scale that along the Y. Switch to side view. Scale that along the Y. Oop, sorry, scale that along the X. Grab it. Let's rotate a little bit. On the front view, make sure it's nice and lined up. Pretty good. Okay, that's our neck. Now let's add a, add a head. Another cube. I'll scale that cube up. Check the side view, make sure it's nicely aligned. All right. Add the modifier. Now we go into edit mode. Select some edges and just tweak the shape of this face a little bit. Give him a jaw. Raise the back of the head up a bit there. I'm going to uh, crease the outer edge of that face, just flatten the face out a little bit by doing that. So, mark seam. That's pretty good. It's pretty much done. I will uh, end the video here and hopefully pick up the next one, add a little color, and then we'll go on to put an armature in there so we can animate them.